Are you thinking about switching to Ollie or the Pets Table, but you're not sure which of these dog food companies is best for you and your dog? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through both of these dog food subscriptions, sharing my experiences with both of these brands, giving my overall verdict on which of these brands I would recommend to our viewers, and also sharing how you can get a discount on your first order. My name is Kieran, and I'm one part of Life of Klikai, alongside my two Alaskan Klikai dogs called Copper and Sky. If you're new to this channel, I've been reviewing dog food for the past seven years, and I like to try and help other dog owners who have picky eaters just like me find dog food that their pups will like. This is not a sponsored video and I've not been paid by either of these brands to make this content and I'm not a vet or a pet nutritionist. I'm merely sharing my insights and perspectives based upon being a dog owner and also someone who has reviewed dog food for the past seven or eight years. Now, if you do click any of the links in this video, we may make a small commission, so that's something to bear in mind. And I'll also be sharing how to make a saving on each of these brands at the end of the video. So with that out of the way, let's get started. First of all, I am going to share a little bit of information about the Pets Table, followed by Ollie, and then I'll give my overall verdict. The Pets Table are a relatively new dog food subscription company in the marketplace here in the US. They launched last year and they provide fresh dog food and air dry dog food. Now, when you start your subscription, you can decide if you wanna stick with just fresh, you can go for just air dried, or you can combine both of these pet food formats. At the time of filming, they have three fresh dog food recipes and two air dried dog food recipes. So you can pick between beef, chicken, and turkey if you're interested in fresh, or you can pick between beef and chicken if you prefer the air dried format. And like I said, you're able to combine both of these if you want in a mixed meal plan. Now, if you're familiar with HelloFresh and you've ever ordered from the company before, then you'll be very familiar with the Pets Table sign up questionnaire. It looks almost identical. You'll need to fill out basic questions about your dog, and then the pets table will give you a recommended meal plan and your own unique price. The one thing that I wasn't really a big fan of when it came to the pets table and their sign up questionnaire is that you need to go back and fill it out all over again and create a separate subscription plan if you do have two dogs like me. Now, when I did get my hands on the pets table and their fresh frozen meals, I was initially encouraged to see that they actually had portion guideline on the back of each meal packet. The packets are really skinny and it's actually really hard to get the food out of the meal packets. It became really awkward and tiresome having to do it at every single meal time. And I definitely wasn't able to follow the portion guidelines that the meal packet was suggesting that I should follow. However, I had a much better experience with their dry dog food. As you can see, it's just a resealable bag. So it was really easy to use and reseal once I had fed Sky and Copper their pets table air dried food. Pets table also provide a meal container which is pretty handy if you do have fresh dog food and I would probably say you might find it a lot easier just to scoop all the fresh dog food out of the meal packet and just keep it in a container like this because half open meal packets can get really messy in the fridge. When I finished the sign up questionnaire the pets table quoted me $217.56 to feed their fresh and air dried dog food to my Alaskan Klikai which I did consider quite expensive and I was slightly surprised by. Having said that they do offer a good discount at the start and if you are interested you can save 50% on your first order and 20% on your second order. In terms of Sky and Copper, they were hit and miss when it came to the pets table. They did like the air dried food. When it came to the fresh dog food, they weren't huge fans. And I have to be honest, I wasn't really that impressed with the color of the food myself. It looked really bland and it smelled quite unflavorsome. So I wasn't that surprised that Sky wasn't that interested and she's my really picky eater. So that's the pets table. Let's move on to Ollie. Now you may be familiar with Ollie because they're a pretty experienced dog food company out here in the US. They've been operating for almost 10 years now. However, they made a big change last year and they actually introduced dry dog food as you can see right here. So if you are interested in feeding fresh and dry dog food, now Ollie have you covered. Now it's important to note that you can get a fresh only plan or you can get a half plan that's half a fresh or you can get a plan that combines fresh and dry dog food. But you can not get an only dry dog food plan. So you're not able to just order dry dog food from Ollie. Like all dog food subscription companies, you will have to complete Ollie's sign up questionnaire where they'll ask you basic questions about your dog. What I like about Ollie is that they've got the best recipe variety of any of the dog food companies that I have reviewed out here in the US. At the time of filming, you can get beef, chicken, turkey, pork and lamb fresh dog food recipes from Ollie, and you can also get beef and chicken dry dog food recipes. Just like the Pets Table, they do provide a meal container and it's actually more sturdy than the Pets Table meal container. And Ollie also provide a scooper, so that's really useful if you do decide to store all your fresh dog food in this container and you wanna scoop it out at mealtime. However, it's something to note, the scooper is not pre-portioned like some other dog companies. So it's not like you're using the scooper to make sure you're getting the portions right when you're feeding your dogs. I much preferred the meal pouches that Ollie provide. They are 
are more of a brick shape, so they're easier to stack in the fridge and in the freezer. There isn't any portion guidelines on the meal packets, but having said that, like I mentioned earlier, the Pets Table's portion guidelines weren't useful because I couldn't really adhere to them. When it came to the taste test, Sky and Copper did prefer Ollie, and I like the fact that I could actually vary the recipes. They actually liked all of the fresh frozen recipes apart from the turkey recipe, so they're happy to eat beef, chicken, pork, and the lamb recipes. When it came to the dry dog food, I would say that was a little bit more hit and miss. I tended to sprinkle a bit of dry dog food on top of their Ollie fresh food, and that way they were getting different textures. But if I was to feed the Ollie dry dog food by itself, I'm not sure whether Sky and Copper would continue to eat it over the long term. However, as I mentioned earlier in this review, they actually don't allow me just to feed exclusively dry dog food, so it's not really like that would be a problem anyway. When it came to price, Ollie charged me slightly more than the pet's table. I was quoted $219.60 per month. But seeing as that's less than $2 difference, I don't think that really adds up to much over the course of the year. So really it comes down to your dog's personal preference and your personal preference as price isn't a big factor in this particular comparison video. So I've given you an overview of the pet's table and Ollie, which of these two dog food subscriptions would I recommend to the Life of Kika community? Well, if I was to stick with either Ollie or the pet's table, I would personally go for Ollie. I like the fact that they had more fresh recipes on offer and Sky and Copper did prefer Ollie's fresh dog food over the pet table's fresh dog food. I also think that Ollie offer a more rounded service and I guess maybe that's because they have been operating in the dog food market for longer than the pet's table and that shows. I have to say that both of these dog food companies do charge quite a hefty price. I mean, $220 a month for dog food for two dogs is a lot of money. And I personally prefer to go for a dry dog food subscription because it's slightly cheaper and I can save nearly $80 on the price compared to these two dog food brands. Having said that, if you've got your heart set on Ollie or the Pets Table, I hope that this video has proven useful. As I said, my recommendation would be Ollie based upon my experience. Now, before I sign off, I just wanna let you know that if you do wanna give either of these dog food companies a go, you can save 50% on your first order of Ollie. You can find that link in the description below or in this video. Alternatively, if you wanna give the Pets Table a go, you can save 50% on your first order and 20% on your second order. I also have links to that in the video and in the description below too. If you've had experience with either of these companies, I'd love to hear your feedback. I know a couple of our Klikai friends have tried Ollie and continue to feed Ollie. So it does seem like Ollie is a hit with our Alaskan Klikai friends. So if you do have an Alaskan Klikai or a Spitz type dog like that, or even a fussy eater like my dog Sky, perhaps Ollie is a good starting point for you. But having said that, if you have tried the Pets Table, why not let me know in the comments below? I'd love to know your experience and your feedback. If there's any of our brands that you would like me to take a look at, please let me know in the comments. And for now, I will sign off. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.